The Power of Poison opens at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History on February 27th and among other things features the Chilean rosehair tarantula, a venomous spider from South America. Hi, I'm Harvey Webster, Director of Wildlife Resources, and this is Anansi. Anansi is a Chilean rosehair tarantula, and catch this, Anansi has been living at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History since 1998. She's at least 20 years old, possibly older. And this is one of the remarkable things that many people don't realize about spiders, especially tarantulas, is how long live they can be. And this is not an animal that comes from Ohio. Typically, at the Perkins Wildlife Center at the Museum of Natural History or our Wildlife Resource Center, we have animals that are exclusively native to Ohio. Well, this is an animal that, as its name suggests, comes from Chile in South America. Found in arid areas, usually found on the ground, oftentimes in a burrow or underneath a rock. And you can see that she's very, very camouflaged if you take a look at her against this sort of bark-like pattern behind her. And that would suit her well because, you know, all spiders are predators. All spiders specialize in going out and finding other things to eat. And they've got some really, really interesting things that allow them to catch their food. If you could take a look at the front of her face, first of all, I should tell you, being a spider, she has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this extra set of things that look like legs are called her pedipulps. That's very important for the males because that's used in breeding. But just behind that are a pair of things called the chalicerae. And underneath the chalicerae are a pair of fangs. And these fangs are attached to venom glands. And so what this spider likes to do is if it's on the ground, and let's say a big old juicy grasshopper comes up, it will go out and plunge those fangs into the grasshopper, injecting the venom inside that'll paralyze that grasshopper, and then it's got itself a meal. Now let's talk more about what comes out of those fangs. A lot of people confuse the term venom and poison. Real simple easy, and easy to tell the difference. Poison is something that you consume, that you ingest, that you drink, or that you eat. Venom is injected into you. So, because this guy's got fangs, they inject venom into their prey. So that's the difference. Venom is something that's injected into the body and poison is something that you would consume. So fascinating critters. Now, if you could take a close look, there are actually eight eyes that are all clustered in that turret-like thing. But because the eyes are small, you get a sense that vision is probably not the strongest sense of this tarantula. Instead, all of these hairs that you see there are filiform hairs, there are tactile hairs, there are slits in the legs that allow them to pick up odors and aromas. So there's an awful lot of information that's transmitted to the spider's brain that's coming actually through its legs. Here's an interesting thought that no matter where you live, at any time in your life, you're probably no more than about 10 feet from a spider. We live our lives with spiders around us, and even though this one looks pretty big and maybe creepy if you don't like spiders, they're very important predators. They have a, a very amazing spot in the food web. There are some 35,000 spider species across the planet, and people are finding more each and every day. So a fascinating creature. This is Anansi, the Chilean rosehair tarantula. I'm Harvey Webster, and this has been another edition of Creature Features, a production of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History.